I have something. I have something for you which has quite a bit of information in it, which I think might be helpful to you. Really? I'm intrigued. Oh. Well, I have this book here that I've been writing in since day one. I have a lot of information on a bunch of people around the server. <laughs> Do you? I be at a peace with the Nether Kingdom, even though the war's over anyways. I propose an alliance, and I'll give you this book to read. An alliance, you say? Mm -hmm. You are going to become the leader of Ohio, aren't you? That's your plan? What? You're planning on becoming the leader of Ohio, yes? yes. Alright. I accept. This is book for you to read. I have a lot of information in there, including a spy among your kingdom. <laughs> and a transcript of things they've said. Let me read this. Suspicious personnel. Meta Knight assumed rightfully to be disloyal and is also a spy and traitor from the start. I assumed so. <laughs> Keep it correct. When in Ohio stole various books directly written to staff from Vess, as well as suspicious behavior. Arch correct. I saw them conspiring as well as general suspicious behavior. Brit, correct, showed general distaste towards Vess when Adib was promoted. Oh, that was all planned. Revealed he was also sent as a spy and spied on the Nether's waystones from there. Ender, stayed after the masquerade ball to tell Brit he had every reason to be mad at the other kingdoms. Huh. Meta Knight speech transcript. Oh, I'm interested. Um, hi. I'm, well... This is a masquerade. I can't tell you who I am. But I'm a person, and I'm part of the Nether Kingdom, and I'm here to say that I do not wish for conflict between our nations. I've, ineligible, it should be rather avoided at all costs. I do not, before I do not want people to die or have my nation involved. I do not wish for conflict between our nations, and rather I would like to avoid it at all costs. I would like us to seek opportunities or to learn about ourselves and our so-called enemies. I would like to take this opportunity to say that while I'm part of another kingdom, I do not wish to incite conflict. Huh. Oh, what's this? Meta Knight Apology Transcript. On behalf of Vess and the Water Kingdom and everyone else who wronged you, I personally want to say I am sorry. Brit replies with, they didn't care about me. Meta added, they didn't care about me either. <laughs> Interesting. I figured that would be important to tell you. Yes, yes, I've heard of Meta's apology, but I didn't know the exact wording. I wrote down that transcript because I thought it would be important. Thank Just you. to try to act as an informant for me because he said that it was cool for how the Nether acted. I see. Do you agree with him? Mm, not really. I see, I see. How close are you with Mada? Not very close. I'm giving you this information because I want him exiled. <laughs> he will be. Would you accept him into your kingdom if he was? No. Good. That means the only place he'd have to run to is the Water Kingdom. We all know about Vamber. What are you planning for, said Jewel? Who are you planning to put up with? Who do I want Meta to go up against? Hmm. I'm not completely sure, I'm not going to lie. I was thinking... I believe Gator, at the moment, is the one with the next... Most. I think, honestly, anyone could beat Meta in a hand-to-hand -hand combat. So I'm not really too worried about who go up, goes up with him. I have seen that boats are racking in on Ark as well. Really? Ark? Hmm. I haven't talked to them much since they joined. I'm not going to lie. I know Adiv has, though. Might ask Adiv about that one. That was the only reason they left, because their cover was blown. Yes, yes. I don't trust Ark entirely. They're pretty gullible. It took them less than 20 minutes to get them on my side, which means it would take less time to 
get them on someone else's as well. See. Especially with tension everywhere. I could see Ark and quite a few, especially the old Ohioans, easily joining the Water Kingdom. I plan, uh, I, ex I expect them to join back old Ohio once it's built, especially curbs and them. Is there anything else you would like to talk about? No, I don't believe so. Alrighty then, I'll take my leave. Goodbye. <laughs> Look forward to our future alliance. Same to you. My, my, yeah, my. Remember, Ender, Hello. Tempest. Hello. What do we have how here? I'm well, how are you? I'm doing very well, how are you? I'm well myself, Tempest. I'm doing well. Good, good. <laughs> I assume you guys know why I called you here today. No, I actually don't. Oh, I see. <laughs> Well, as I'm sure you've noticed, the Nether Kingdom has successfully taken over the old Water Kingdom and yes. the old Ohio. Yes, it, they have. They have taken over the Water Kingdom and old Ohio. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I also noticed not too long after such some buildings in which I redecorated had been terrorized. Why is that? I have no idea. I'm assuming it was someone from the Old Water Kingdom. I also know. Well, I don't know anything, but I've heard some rumors from some of the electees that M MC had gotten hold of some of your TNT. Hmm, have they now? Indeed. Hmm. So my beliefs lie with MC doing such. Hmm. While I don't mind them blowing up their own house, I'm not very happy about them blowing up what I'd already redecorated. I'll we'll probably have to... I'll talk, I'll talk to them about it at some point. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good. On another note, the election's coming up. It seems that so far, Mel is the only person who has successfully started campaigning. They're pretty confident they're getting the seats, and honestly, I applaud that. Well, I mean, there's not a lot of people there. There isn't. So, there's, I believe, three people at Ohio. A lot of them had either changed kingdoms or left. Indeed. Indeed. Although I know once New Ohio starts up again, quite a few people will be leaving another. Probably. I mean, it's the way things go. It is. It is. <laughs> hmm. About those notes. What notes? I think I know who left them. Uh, those? Who did? Well, it was who I suspected. Marmalade. Although, of course. they weren't threatened of into it. Not like they said they were, at least. Of course they did. I've been discussing a few things with Mel regarding the future of our lovely kingdoms. <laughs> and they gave me quite a bit of intel on all three of them. Mm -hmm. Marmalade planted the notes on her own accord. Hmm, of course. 
entering the kingdom isn't a good look for her. What do you plan to do about that? I'll have to talk to Marmalade about that. Definitely, definitely. As for the election, have you guys found anyone else who is willing to campaign? Um, not that I know of, as there are only three other people in, o three people in Ohio. Indeed. I say- I have asked Sky about it, and they said they aren't interested. Oh, really? Hmm. <laughs> I propose an idea. During your challenge, well, the other two are off, or the two who were voted into trial are off, what were you having them do? Tossing them into the void? <laughs> not, in, not into the void, into the abyss. Alright, okay. right. Then, then, whoever lasts longest wins. <laughs> I believe at the moment Meta and was it Gator have the most votes. Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, no matter who Meta's up against, he'll lose. Probably. Read. Would you guys let him into your kingdom if he were to lose? Uh, Meta. Yes. I'm not sure. I see. Okay. Hmm. As for the current alliance as it stands, we talked about it a little bit earlier, but I wanted to bring it up to you directly. Yes. Are we still continuing this alliance or not? And if so, what does it do in favor of both parties? I don't want to continue the alliance anymore. I see. You've gone too tyrannical. Really? In my opinion. <laughs> so, How so? The old Water Kingdom and the old Ohio have, even though people have left, they still felt like homes to people. No one lived there, and at least not to my knowledge. They still felt like homes to other people. Well, and, they weren't. Okay. And you guys they, didn't keep them they up. Still felt, and they still felt, and people still had memories with them, very happy ones. And you left them to rot. Because of danger. What danger? People aren't always geared up. Sure. But you guys had the nether on your side. I believe together we could have taken down any danger, which is why I'm not scared of any kingdom or any person on this server at the moment. There is one other... I, it's not that it's not... I want to thank you. Thank you for everything that we have done and everything that we have achieved forever. <laughs> that is what I want to thank you for. Of course, of but course. I do believe that this alliance has been done and over with. Understood. And I hope that if we do cross paths, we will not come into war again. We can only hope. Mm -hmm. All right, then well, that's all I wanted to talk to you about. You're free to leave. Ender, I'd like to have a word. Ender. You wanted to speak? I did, I did. How are you doing? Mm, good so far. <laughs> nice to know. Thoughts on that chat? According to Vamber, I'm a little tyrannical. Do you agree with that? Um, well, I, um, um, 
I mean, I don't know how to comment. I see. <laughs> what do you know about Vampir? Um, um, they're the ruler of the Water Kingdom. Uh, you try to look out for the best of citizens. Do they? What I've seen, yes. What does Vamber know about any of their citizens, really? Um, if half of them are rebelling against them. I'm not sure um, how well off they are doing running their kingdom. I mean, everyone has their own flaws, according to Vampire. There are eight people in the Water Kingdom, am I correct? Yes. Three of them are plotting to kill Vampire as we speak. I was not aware of that. Vamber also isn't aware, obviously. Do you really think Vamber is a fit ruler? I haven't seen anything wrong with how they're running things. Are they even running things? To me, they seem like a citizen in their own kingdom. Haven't had a single kingdom meeting apart from the ones hosted here. I, um, I guess I sound correct. What leader you think has Vamber done except for start wars and feel threatened? Um, what has Vamber done for you? Uh, they, um, me in. Anyone would have done that. Ohio would have let you in. I would have let you in. That's the bare minimum. Leadership is not about how big your kingdom is, although that does play a part in keeping it running. It's about what you do for your people. I'm giving my people a home. I'm giving them space. I'm giving them freedom. Vamber is giving you guys fear. Just some food for thought. I may ask, are you trying to turn me against Vamper? No, I wouldn't speak for you. I'm not telling you what you should do. I'm stating the obvious. And if I was wrong, you would disagree with me. But you're not. Which proves that my words serve somewhat of value. Think about them. What you do from here is completely your choice. Let us ascend, Tempest. You're free to go. <laughs>